Welcome to our video series about Beyond Horizons and specifically about trends and fields and niches. And maybe the first thing I want to start off with is today talk a little bit about fields. The fields of business, where we put our energy, our fields of profession. Many of us will maybe have had plenty of professions. It's also about the fields of study in a formal and informal way, the fields of experience, the fields of dreams. Some of us are very good manifestors of dreams and some of us are very frustrated about the things that we haven't done. And it's also about the fields of our background, the roots, if you wish and whatever else comes to you. So fields for the series also stands for the earth, the element of earth, and in particular the soil. So it's like all of these fields, business and study and experiences and profession makes the soil. This is not all as you appreciate, and there will be more coming in that element. So what is it? For me, the challenge was always, but you can't do it. This is not for you. This is not gonna work. And if I did it anyway, and now what are you gonna do with it? So you can see that for many of us, and I'm sure I'm not in isolation, we are often held back. And yet, if this is truly you, it won't hold you back. And even if some feel that you're getting into seems to be so limited, so absolute, so linear, maybe you can make something amazing out of it. So the fields is the earth from which we grow things, from which we we can source and for example for me the fields that that excited me most from a young child this is interesting because the boy is still here a couple of years later quite a few years later was always the arts the arts and education but it doesn't mean that I was just in one side of the art so i was just interested in a particular perspective no i always wanted to know more i always wanted to be curious and on some level i always wanted to know how this applies to me how does it come into my life how does it connect to me so as i said one of my first was the arts it was not painting but music what stopped me from studying music, apart from studying music in a music school during my high school times and primary, it was actually that, no, a musician wasn't, that wasn't a job. Artists, no, they don't make any money. But now we are still here with my flute. So I exchanged the accordion and the piano and the clarinet for flutes. I went to choirs and singing classes for many years. What I'm doing now, I chant. So it is important that we don't lose it on the journey. And, and it's that really that sticking with it, that grit and allowing it to become whatever it becomes. No, I'm not an educator who is going to curriculums and forces students to memorize. I have no interest in that. But I have a big interest in opening up minds and exploring knowledge. Have a critical thinking aspect of it, being curious, asking questions, appreciating, interpreting. And most of all, to connect and find our own truth. So you see, the fields 
of business we are in, the fields of study, the fields of our profession, and even our fields of dreams have a very, very important point in our life. And without them, I feel we would be a little bit lost. It would be very difficult. You would have to start fresh each time. And all of us have this source, these fields. So I'm inviting you to take it deeper. In the free masterclass, we're going to explore a little bit more. And obviously in the mastery program that we're going to offer as a five weeks or as a retreat of, for a weekend, we will go really in depth and you will walk away and be very clear, not only about your fields, but also about the other aspects that come with it, the whole five elements. So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to the end because that's always not so easy. And let me finish with a little bit of sound. I have found that sound is really something that connects, that connects us with this essence inside. And it goes also into the subconscious. And it can really clear and heal and do many amazing things in a subtle level that then helps us to manifest it and to bring it into our whole consciousness. So, let me open up your fields, let me open up your mind with the sound and connect to that beautiful source of your fields. that feel keen to hear of course how it feels for you and keen to see much more of you for now have a wonderful day a wonderful night whatever wherever you are